Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use data structure or simply structures in C++. So first of all, why we need to use structures in C++. So in the earlier videos, I have shown you, you can define a variable in C++ like this. Int and the name of the variable and this semicolon. Or char and the name of the variable and the semicolon. So this int and char are the predefined data type which is provided by C++ to us. So we haven't defined this int or this char. Now suppose you want to define your own data type. You can use structure to define your own data types. So let me give you an example. Now for example you want to define a structure for a book. A book can contain name, book name, book author or book ID and you want to use these name, author and ID as a data type or book as a data type then how you can define a structure for the book. So the basic syntax of the structure is you just write struct and the name of the structure you want to define. So in our case we are defining book or books will be appropriate. And then just give the semicolon and this colon to complete the structure. Now this is the basic definition of structure. And now inside structure you, de you can define the traits of the book. For example book has some name, book can be written by some author and book has some ID. So you can define it like this. Care name of array 50. Array can contain 50 character for example. Care of author which also can contain 50 character and for example int you define the book id like this. So now you have defined a new data type called book and now you can use this data type in order to call these members of your structure. So how you can uh, call this structure from in your main you just need to once again use the keyword struct and the name of your structure which is book and then you need to give the name of the variable you want to give to your book data type. So for example I will define book1 as a variable name and now for example I want to assign the value to my book1 variable which is of kind book or the data type of book1 variable is books right. So I want to assign some values to my book. Now I can assign value to my book like this. I will write the name of my variable book1 and when I use dot which is called dot separator then you can see the option I can call any of the three members using this dot separator. For example, first of all I will call this name and then I can give equal to and give the name of the author. So not the name of name of the author but the name of the book. So name of the book for example we can give C++ C++ tutorials okay but one thing uh, one more thing I want to um, show you that this type of assignment to the character array is not very efficient in order to uh, copy a string inside a character array efficiently there is other way of copying this um, array inside your character array 
So what you can do is you can use the keyword string copy and as a first argument of this a string copy you can give the name of the variable which is book1.name in which you want to copy the string and as a second variable you can give the name give the string which you want to copy in this character array variable so this is the more efficient way of copying the string into a character array right so avoid using this type of assignment whenever you want to assign a string inside a character array just use the code like this this is more efficient okay so this is a good practice in c++ to use string copy instead of directly assigned by equal to now and one more thing in order to use this keyword string copy you need to use this library so just write include c string library just include this library in order to use this keyword string copy i will just copy this once again and paste it here and this time i want to give the name of the author for example i will give the name of the author as programming knowledge okay and then i want to assign the id of the author so i will write book one dot id equal to one for example right now for example i want to access the data which is contained by book variable right what i can do is i will write c out book one name and then you can just access it by this book one dot name okay copy it and paste it here and just give the regular and line right I'm going to just copy this two more times and I will say book one author and here also author and book one ID and here also ID. Now when I compile the program, hopefully it will compile successfully. Yes, it compiles with zero error and zero warning. Now when I run the program, this will show whatever I assigned to my book data type. You can see, you can access this content in this book variable by book dot book one dot name, book one dot author, and book one dot id. So in this way, you structures allow you to define your own data type. In our case, we have defined the data type book and this data type book has the trait name author and id right and then using this data type we have defined a variable like we we define it like this so we have the data type the data type in our case is book and the name in our case is book one right and then we can assign values to our variables like this and like this and when we want to access the values inside the variable you can just access it like this book one dot whatever value you want to access so you want to access book one's name then you can write book one name book one author and book one id okay so in this way you can access the structures content and you can define more book books like book 2 book 3 and you can assign values and you can as access the content inside this books
So in this way you can define your own data type using struct and by the way you can also use functions inside the structure. This is a little bit high level programming. So for basic it's okay to use just the default data types. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.